Down and 10, the Bears. Drops back across the 25. He's forced out of the pocket, running for his life. Good block there on the corner. Pump fakes. Wants to throw. Now he does as he comes to the sideline. He's got a man there. That's going to go as an incomplete pass. Whitaker in at east to his left in the shotgun. Second down. Under pressure. Screen. Thrown low. Incomplete at the 30. Ball at the Baylor 33. They need their 43. Dropping back. Steps up. Time. Now he will run to the 40. Harrington caught him and brought him down across the 35-yard line. He was approaching the 40. A very high kick. Peterson's telling everybody to get away. It takes a bounce, and it got an Aggie bounce. Going to roll out of bounds into the Baylor bench inside the 45. A&M to the line. Jaborski Lane is to the left of Stephen McGee. Martellus Bennett, Pierre Brown are way out there on the right side. Got Taylor, and you got Franks here on this side. Here's the first down play. A flag down. They've stopped everything. We run out of time. It's going to be against A&M. And here's Tom Walker. Offside on the offense, number 13. Five-yard penalty, still first down. All right, first down now, 15, as Dave told you, empty in the backfield. McGee, time to throw. Will, Keandra Smith got the uh, penalty back, plus a couple more to the 45 on a pass from the left going back to the right side. Caught it between the hash marks and tackled at the 45-yard line by Alton Weidman. McGee takes the snap, quick throw. It's a catch. That's across the 45 near the 49-yard line. That'll be an assist. So he's now up to 12 for the uh, ball game. And here they go with a throw out to the right side. David, I was looking down. Was that at the 50-yard line? It was to Keandra line. Smith, and he had he led him perfectly. Keandra took his eye off the ball, eyeing the chains, and it looked like he would have had plenty of room. So now fourth down. The line of scrimmage is the 49. Here's the punt off the kind of sidewind of that one. A big old hop that'll hit and now bounces into the end zone. Joe Bennett was the return man. He let that go over his head. Will throw on first down. Time throws incomplete, almost intercepted. It is incomplete. Diving for it for the Aggies that time would be uh, Misi Toupe. Second down, same 10, 17 seconds to go in the first half. Aggies lead 10 to 3. And Zemanski will keep. Around the corner he goes, slides down as he goes to the 24-yard line. Gaddis is the low man. McElroy is the top man, both standing at about the five. Here's the kick. Sidewinder is going to skip, start rolling toward the sideline, picked up at the 26. The return is going to be run out of bounds at about the Baylor 30. So sidewinder kick that time. With three ties in that total of 42. Here's a first down pass. It's low. It's incomplete at the 35. Back behind the line of scrimmage. Danny Gore was there. That was intended for Joel Bennett. Running back to the left. Two wides each side. Open. He had trouble with the snap. Going to roll after getting control of it. Still coming back to this side. Now throws. And he throws into the Aggie bench. He's knocked down as he's throwing the football. Third down 10. They're one of seven on their thirds. Keeps a running back to his right. Open side to the left. Drops back, sets up, steps up into the pocket. He may run. He's to the 40. He will slide down as he hits the 43-yard line, well shy of a first down by about full four yards. Fourth down and punting. They've punted four times for a 40 Yard average, fair catch call for, and at the 15, Jordan Peterson. Aggies have it. Here are the Ags, shotgun. Jaworski Lane to the right. Jaworski Lane just got the ball. He crosses the line of scrimmage. He's out to the 20. He's going to get five yards. One, two, three, four, five. Baylor guys all over him. Baylor is even in the turnover department. It'll remain that way. Second down, five, 20. McGee keeps, goes around the left corner, hit head up as he hits the 20. Martellus Bennett just went in motion. And there's the pitch. They go around the left side. That's Jaworski Lane. Got a first down with a little effort there. He had somebody around his ankles. He slipped that, fell forward to the 27. Here is a first down and 10. The Aggies just got number 14, if you're counting along with us, on their first downs. Start the option. Now he's going to drop back. He's got pressure. Drops back to the 20. Now he throws. He's got a man. That's Joy Thomas. First down. The Aggies 
Out of bounds at the Aggie 40-yard line. Snyder, Wallace, Elder, Clark, and Yoder in the offensive line for Texas A&M. First down, Texas A&M at their own 40, need midfield. At 11.58 and leading 10 to three, bouncing inside, coming back outside. Goodson being chased. He's looking for the 40-yard line. They're closing on him. He'll get back to the 40, maybe the 41. There just wasn't a whole lot there. Most of that run was from the, the east side to the west side. He got a yard. Second down, nine. Got a yard out of that. Javorski Lane out of the right of McGee. McGee points to his right. He's got a split in here. Got to tie it in on the left side. That is Martellus Bennett. Looks like that may be coming. They were not. There's a throw, and that's Pierre Brown. He caught it. He's at midfield. That may be close for the first down. Where did he step out? A&M again at 50% coming into play, so they're above that right now. Here's the third down, and uh, Lane fights, and he got the first down. He's going to cross midfield, go to the Baylor 49, stopped by Pavelic and Jordan Lake. There he is again. This time it'll be an eye with Chris Alexander as the fullback. Javorski Lane's the tailback. Play action on a fake handoff to Lane. Throwing deep. Got a man. He will catch it. And it is down to the one-yard line. And that is Kerry Franks. And he was tackled by Alton Weidman as he hit the one. Fell down. Two things. 48 a nice, yards. A nice play action fake. A great route. Post route by Kerry Franks. Got behind the coverage in a perfect throw from Stephen McGee after the play action fake. He saw Kerry come uncovered and led him beautifully just over the defender and out in front of another defender. And oh, this is close to the goal line. They marked it at the one. It looked like it was even closer, but first and goal for the Aggies. All right, 10.50 to go. Third quarter, the Aggies lead 10 to three. Two tights, eye formation, have one tight end lined up in the backfield. Actually, that will be in a handoff to Lane for a touchdown from a yard out. And the J-Train just got number eight on his touchdowns for the season. Aggies just made it 16-3 to at the 10.45 mark. What an impressive drive. Started at the 15, an 85-yard drive. And the big play, that post pattern to Kerry Franks. Comes at 10.45 to go in the third quarter on a one-yard run lane. That's nine plays, by the way. There's the extra point up and good by Zemanski. And he stays perfect on his PATs for the year. He's now 19 out of 19. Here's Zemanski. Good kick. Backing up now is Geddes. Here's his return from the three to the five to the 15. Does a little submarine there and goes to about the 19-yard line. And not a good day so far for Zemanski, the quarterback for BU. He is 5 of 18. He's just, nope, that's incomplete. 5 of 19 now and 38 yards for an offense that's supposed to generate a whole lot. He's going to, well, he started to run, then he stops, and that one is uh, picked off on a deflection by Marquise Carpenter intended for Smith, and they drop him at the 20. Five-yard line, Boy, second up, of the day. Heads up play by Marquise Carpenter. He's right there on the coverage. The ball bounces off of Smith's hands, and Marquise just reaches up and gets it before anybody can knock it down. 25, first down, and 10, 10, 27. Play action, McGee, a throw. It may have been a deflection. Got hit. Was intended for Keandra Smith. Deflected, incomplete. Second down, 10 coming up. Shotgun again. Two wides to the left. That's a slot, and McGee keeps it after a fake 20. Down to the 16-yard line. Faked into the line and kept it around the left end. It's a 17-3 Aggie lead. I formation. There goes Joy Thomas in motion to the left side. Play action by McGee. Throws. That's a catch. Alexander 10-5. Flag down. He's down at about the two-yard line. I think somebody. Flag down the play. Well, let's see. Well, I love this call. Play action pass. They dump it to Alexander out in the flat. And he is wide open. Nobody there. This ball has moved all the way down inside the three-yard line. But let's see what the flag is. Flags at the five. Hmm. Holding on the offense, number 13. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still sufficient. First down. Goodson lines up to the right of McGee, who's standing at the 20, to take the snap. He just gave it to Goodson. Left side, 10. Cuts back right. He's inside the 10 out of the six-yard line. 
Lane, 15 for 66. That's the rushing game. The Aggies now have total 180 yards rushing. 58 plays, 384 yards total offense. Handed off to Lane looking for the left side. He's going to get the first down. Falls out of bounds across the five at the Baylor four. Two tight ends. And a man flexed out behind the tight end on the left. That's a handoff. Keandra Smith lost a yard back, a well, yard and a half back to the six. Stopped there by Lamb and Rhodes. Only the second time in the history of the series have they played here in September. A game in September. Here's the second and goal, and McGee dropped it, picked it back up. He's all the way back outside the 25. He's going to throw way out of bounds as he's aiming it toward Alexander. Ash left, lanes to the left of McGee. Has it, pumps, still looking into the end zone. There's a loft, that's way, that went up above the uh, crossbar and way out of bounds here. 23, Tom. Slight angle to the right, Zemanski one for three this afternoon. Here's the snap, the kick, and oh, that was closer than he would like. Just got inside the right upright, but hey, it's good for three, and there's the cannon. The ammunition is good again, and the Aggies get on the board again. 7.36 to play in the third quarter. His new score is Texas A&M 20 and Baylor three. Zemanski after the uh, field goal is going to kick off. Here it is. Oh, it's a good one. And it's uh, three yards deep. And that's Geddes, he'll take a knee. First down and 10, Zemanski's having a tough day of a five of 20. They get a delay a game, they did. Doing some shifting in that line. Red Bryant moved at the last, or Henry Smith moved at the last minute. Shifted at the last minute and they moved, Baylor did. Baylor is now uh, three for 35 on their penalties. The Aggies are four for 25 today. Zemanski now, to, he's gotten the ball to some receivers. He's had some drops today. Drops back to the five, throws. That's a catch this time. Got a first down across the 30 to the 33. Caught by Bennett, tackled by Bryson and Pugh. And they now have, now I'll have to wait. They've not added that last play. Now they have 31 uh, plays, 96 yards. Zemanski's going to move under center on this one. Not been there a lot. And he hands off. They try the left side of the line. They get it to the 35, got two there. At the 35, in the shotgun. They gave it on a handoff going right side, close for a first down as they cut it on the hash mark, top hash mark to the 42-yard line, carried by Finley, tackled by Hodge and Bryant. And Von Miller is also in that defensive front. Zemanski throws on first down, a catch, first down at the 45, leaps to the 49-yard line near midfield, Jay Finley. Another first down for Baylor. That will be their fourth. They've now gone over a hundred. Flag, penalty. illegal substitution. Yep, they did. They got somebody out there a little late. On the offense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. Order. First down, 15. The Bears haven't moved back to the 45. Coming back to this side on the handoff to the running back. He'll be dropped back at the 40-yard line. Mark Dodge, what a great read and a great execution. He saw this coming immediately. He got upfield and was able to not only contain it, but stop it for a five-yard loss, bring it up second and 20. Two wides to the right. You got two on the left. Got a running back lined up in the backfield to the left of Zemanski. Second down and 20. Drops back to the 30, steps up into the pocket, throws, almost intercepted. I think, I it, think was. it was. I think it was on the dot. No, 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 no they're no. going to say no. Rub it off. Zemanski's now 7 of 23. Here's the third down play. Back to the 30. Throws, and it's off the hands of the intended receiver at the Aggie 45. That was intended for White. Now they'll punt Will Baylor from the 40-yard line. Snap was a little bit to his left. Here comes Peterson at the 20. 25, 30, stiff arms to the 31-yard line. All right, Chad Schrader, i tell you what, guys, he, he'll go down as one of the best hands in AM history. Back first, to you. First down and 10, the Aggies at the 31, lane 40, lane 42, 43, 45, 47 yard line. 16 yards, the J train. Time under four now, third quarter, the Aggies 20, Baylor three, I formation. McGee puts a man in motion. That's Irvin Taylor coming back toward the handoff. It goes to Lane again. <laughs> I don't know how he did that. He just went across midfield to 49. Well, they hit him well, about the back after about one yard gain and was able to keep his feet, stay off the ground, keep his knees off the ground, and then spin for another four. Contact the Texas A&M Foundation on the web 
at giving.tamu.edu. The Aggies second down. McGee pitches it left. Goodson turns the corner. 45, first down. Into the sideline. They'll knock him out of bounds at the Baylor 35-yard line. Aggies have turned in rushing totals of 261, 318, 310, and 98. That's an average of 246 per game. Number two in the Big 12, number eight in the nation right now. The Ags have rushed 40 times, 100 and uh, rather 214 yards. Play action. McGee got wide. One man throwing end zone. There's Martellus, and he can't hang on to it. I formation. Second down. 10 and pitch it to Goodson caught in the backfield spun down we'll see A&M lose here a yard to the 36 that dropped from the 35 back to the 36 that was Weidman and Freeman here's third down and 11 the Aggies 8 of 14 on their thirds today the shotgun McGee long snap count put a man in motion right there at the end the options coming up McGee turned the corner 30 dives forward and he got the first down I believe he he did he made the dive to the 24 and a half First down and 10, A&M at the BU 24 and a half. Keandra Smith goes in motion. Steven takes the snap. He just starts straight ahead, crosses the 20, goes to about the 17-yard line. In the shotgun, man flex to the left. That's Javorski. He's going to throw. And, oh, almost throw half a flag down. That ball is caught. It goes to the 15-yard line as Taylor reaches up and brings it down on a pretty good acrobatic catch there, but there's a flag down. Great job of reacting to the ball and being able to pull it in. Illegal formation. On the offense, not enough men in the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty, repeat second down. So second down now and seven. The ball moved back to the Baylor 22-and-a-half yard line. They need just a little bit more than the 15 for a first down in the eye. Give it to Lane. Cuts back to his right. Headbutts a man. Hits the 20. Got two. And they are 9 of 15 on their thirds today. Good department. Balls at the 20. Need the 15, a hash right. Empty in the backfield, three wides here on the open side. McGee dancing, throwing as a man, and it is incomplete off the fingertips of the intended receiver at the 16-yard line. 37-yard effort spotted at the 27. Angle back to the left, Tom Turbyville. All right, uh, Zamanski today is uh, two of four, and here's the snap, the kick, and it is no good. That's his third miss today. They got a first down and 10 at their 20. Zemanski again has thrown 24 times, completed seven for only 64 yards. He's had a bushel basket full of drops. Long snap count. They'll go on the ground, sprinting out right side, crosses the 20, goes to the 27, maybe the 28-yard line. Aggie defense into the game today has been uh, credited with Five sacks, four interceptions until today. I mean, added that uh, to that number. 28 tackles for loss, 19 pass knockdowns after the first four games. Second down and three. Throwing deep. Has a man. There's double coverage. And that snagged at the 35, 30, 20, 15 to five. And inside the five at the two. Wow, what a catch. All right, here we go. Ash Wright. On the ground, jumping, diving, pushing, goal line, touchdown. Now the extra point. It's up and it is good. 20 to 10, 13-44 remaining in the game. Baylor ready to kick off. Franks and Brown are the return men. Franks at the top at the seven. Here at the bottom is Pierre Brown. Here's the kick. Very high. Not going to be that deep. And at the 14, Franks to the 20. Ooh, an airborne and came right down on the back of his head. The ball, they say he was down when he fumbled it. So no fumble. He just went down and it came loose. And boy, he is not feeling too good as he starts to get up. We just saw another replay. Definitely he had the ball until he hit the ground. And now he's up. Both of them are up. Kerry Franks and Chris Alexander walking off the field. First down and 10, 438 yards. Total offense on 71 plays. Here goes number 72. Goodson cutting out here wide, left side, 30, 35. Runs right and a flag down. Runs flag. right into the uh, sideline at the Aggie 37, right into the Aggie bench. Holding on the offense, number 75. 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. Travis Snyder. 
right now it's showing six for 40 on penalties today against a and four for 40 against Baylor. Don't know if that's been updated. We'll check in a moment. Thomas goes in motion in high formation, and that will be given to Keandra, and Keandra will dive forward to the 21-yard line. Babalola, of course, not playing today. Second down, and we're still calling about 20. A little bit less than that, but not a whole lot. Just went under 13 minutes in the fourth quarter. Aggies lead 20 to 10. Screen right side, and the Bears have it uh, red, and they're going to drop it back at the 15. There's a flag down. Spot will be at the 16 on the screen to Goodson. Clipping oh. on the offense, number 75. Penalties declined, third down. Okay. Aggies lead by 10, 20 to 10. On their thirds today, it's been a good department. Nine of 16, 438 yards of total offense, Texas A&M. As it drops back, steps up, still looking to throw. Will turning, looking, and that's incomplete at midfield. Brantley will stand right at the goal line to take the snap. Gibus, there's a good snap. Chest high. Great kick. They're backing up. All the way back to the 26. Flag down. They'll catch him and drop him at the 27-yard line. That's right. That was his second kick because we'll call that uh, McGee has a punt. So here is first and 10. Baylor goes on the ground and across the 30 goes Jay Finley to about the 32 yard line. Still too much time. Baylor needs to, if they're going to stay in this thing and try to win it, they're going to probably do something with this possession. 11 39, batted up in the air and knocked down, knocked down by Red Bryant on the throw by Brantley. First four games, Aggie defense, by the way, has given up 99, 139, 215, 127 on the ground, a 169 total attempts. That's 3.4 per carry. Baylor today rushing the ball 15 for 59. Baylor's offense 42 plays, 192 yards. On third down, they're 2 of 10. They have five first downs. They're going to throw and it's off the hands of the receiver at fourth down now. Baylor misses on another third down opportunity. Wobbly kick. Peterson comes up at the 35. Gets away from a man at the 40, 41 yard line. At the 41, Jordan Peterson on that return. 11-12 to go. AM the ball at their own 42-yard line. They are 58 yards away from pay dirt. Up by 10. Shotgun running backs either side of McGee. Likes that formation. And they give it to Javorski. He's got midfield. And he's got a first down. He's inside the 45. The Baylor 43. Javorski lane. Martellus has one catch today for three yards. 